Beneath the cerulean waves of the ancient Mediterranean, amidst the tumultuous currents and treacherous eddies, lies a creature of unfathomable terror and fascination, Charybdis, the terrifying whirlpool monster of Greek mythology. With a maelstrom of swirling waters as her domain, she commands the seas with an iron grip, ensnaring unwary sailors and daring adventurers in her watery embrace. In the realm where legend meets reality, her name evokes both awe and dread, a testament to the enduring power of myth to captivate the imagination and stir the soul. In Greek mythology, Charybdis is often depicted as a monstrous sea creature, although the exact description varies across different accounts. Early Greek writers didn't provide detailed physical descriptions of her appearance, focusing more on her actions, particularly the creation of whirlpools. Charybdis, according to Greek mythology, was a formidable sea creature believed to inhabit the depths beneath a fig tree rooted on a rocky outcrop. This formation was situated within an ocean strait, with its counterpart Scylla dwelling on a larger rock opposite. Charybdis would cyclically ingest vast quantities of water thrice daily, regurgitating it in powerful surges that spawned colossal whirlpools capable of ensnaring and wrecking any unfortunate ships in proximity. Meanwhile, Scylla, positioned on the opposing rock, would seize passing sailors for her sustenance. The proximity of the two rocks, reportedly within bowshot range, rendered the strait exceedingly hazardous for seafaring vessels. No matter the course a ship took within the strait, it remained susceptible to the menace of one of these monstrous entities. In early accounts, such as those of Homer, the precise location of the strait was left vague, evoking images of a distant, scarcely explored maritime realm. However, by the classical era, it became widely believed that these legendary creatures inhabited the Strait of Messina off the shores of Sicily. Notably, a whirlpool does indeed exist in that vicinity, though its threat is generally confined to small boats under extreme conditions. The origins of Charybdis are mired in conflicting narratives. The earliest chronicles omit any detailed backstory, portraying her as an ancient force of nature, intrinsic to the primordial essence of the oceans. Subsequent accounts, however, weave a more intricate lineage, suggesting she was the offspring of Poseidon, the Greek god of the sea, and Gaia, the venerable earth goddess despite the familial complexity of Poseidon being Gaia's grandson. In a pivotal episode of Greek mythology, tensions between Zeus and Poseidon prompted Charybdis to side with her father, aiding him in inundating lands and submerging islands in seawater. Zeus, perceiving this as a usurpation of his dominion over the earth, retaliated by subduing Charybdis, chaining her to the ocean floor. The wrathful Zeus then imposed a curse upon Charybdis, transforming her into a ravenous monster plagued by unquenchable thirst. This insatiable craving compelled her to engulf vast quantities of seawater thrice daily in a futile attempt to assuage her ceaseless thirst. In a lesser-known variation of her tale, Charybdis began her existence as a mortal woman of voracious appetite. Her transgression of stealing an ox from Heracles, a favored son of Zeus, invoked the ire of the thunderous deity. In punishment, Zeus hurled a lightning bolt at the woman, propelling her into the depths of the sea. There, driven by her insatiable hunger, she metamorphosed into the monstrous entity known as Charybdis. Upon his return from Troy, Odysseus found himself navigating the treacherous strait where Charybdis lurked. Heeding the warning issued by the sorceress Circe regarding Charybdis's threat, Odysseus opted to steer his ship closer to the opposing side, where Scylla ambushed and devoured six of his crew. Later in his journey, Odysseus faced further misfortune when his ship and crew incurred the wrath of Helios. 
Stranded on a raft and drifting back through the strait towards Charybdis, Odysseus encountered the swirling vortex of her whirlpool. Despite the peril, he managed to cling to the fig tree rooted on Charybdis rock, patiently awaiting the ebb of her watery exhalations. Eventually, as Charybdis disgorged the swallowed sea, Odysseus seized the opportunity to return to his raft, resuming his quest homeward. In the legend of Jason and the Argonauts, Charybdis played a pivotal, albeit minor, role. During their return journey from Colchis, Jason and his crew faced the perilous strait once more. While this passage typically spelled doom for sailors, Jason enjoyed the favor of the goddess Hera. Hera intervened by instructing one of the Nereids, Thetis, to lead Jason's ship, the Argo, safely through the treacherous waters. Following Thetis's guidance, the Argo traversed the strait's center, effectively circumventing the lethal threats posed by both Charybdis and Scylla. Jason thus achieved the remarkable feat of navigating the strait unscathed, making him the sole hero in Greek mythology to accomplish this feat without incident.